Welcome to the Awkward Zoo. I'm Randy, and this is Just Listen Podcast. And today we have we have some random news. Uh, we have we have chew on this as usual. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that's I think that's it. Um, uh, yeah, let's get started. But first. So updates, um, yeah, not much to update. I have, I did, uh, I am re-downloaded and playing tower defense games, which are my favorite kind of mobile game. And so I re-downloaded um, um, Kingdom Rush uh, because I, I did a Kickstarter or the board game version of that produced by Lucky Duck Games and that will be coming in probably next week hopefully by next week um, but uh, uh, we, that is being shipped and so I'm excited um, about it and I've seen videos those, and streams of people playing through it and it's just looks awesome and so I redownloaded Kingdom Rush Rush and been playing the mobile game tower defense game and I'm just kind of like getting prepared for the board game to arrive um, so that's what I've been kind of doing outside of streams um, and so yeah that, that seems awesome um, and any new updates other than that no not really <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the random news so random news there's actually two today um um so last week um or a couple of weeks ago but just last a couple of weeks ago they announced it but last week is when i discovered something else as well but boba guys is a boba company um out in california and new york um, um and they make their own boba uh, tapioca pearls in the u.s they make their own and, and they like resource like how they resource and how they set up is is very is very very awesome they're cool dudes because i don't know them personally but they are they are but like just what they stand for and as a company and how they build their company is just something to be admired and, and during quarantine they released um a boba kit and i got one so i wanted to try boba guys because there's no boba guys here in texas but like come on uh, so like the only way i could try them is through this boba kit um because obviously i ain't traveling anywhere <laughs> so i got a boba kit and um they released a few since then and and uh they have this uh stay vibrant special kind of edition i'm not sure if it's still available well currently available because it also comes with this pass vip pass to a kind of like a zoom class and jam session with a special guest um so they have that going on and and then they have also the normal kit it, which comes with amber rock sugar which i'm curious about uh, but the whole reason why this is on random news is because last week i have discovered that they also have a refill kit which is basically a tea of your choice um yeah which is basically a tea of your choice and then and then a and then a um, sugar sweetener I'm just trying to figure out the name. The sweetener of your choice, well, which is the Amber Rock or the Kuramitsu, which in my boba kit that I got, I got Kuramitsu, which is awesome. Awesome. Better than, yeah. I don't know what I was going to say with that, but Kuramitsu was great. Right. Um, but I'm curious about this Amber Rock because I've never really heard of it. Um, anyway, I'm looking at the website right now, which is. For those of you on on the Apple Podcast, it's the the boba kit dot com, um, and it'll bring you to their website where you can order your own if you want to. 
Um, the, so there's the boba kit, and then there's the refill. The refill is just um, a tea of your choice, uh, matcha, jasmine green tea, and a black tea. And then a sweetener, kiramitsu, or amber rock. And, and, and some boba, obviously. Okay, that they will send you with this boba serving of, of 10 servings, roughly 10 servings, um, depending on how much you want it. Um, the boba kit comes with a metal boba straw as well as a teaspoon. And looking at the website, they have a new one that comes with hojicha. And so the boba kit comes with uh, matcha. And then they just, I just see this posted, looking at the website right now, they just posted one with hojicha, which is a roasted green tea. Um, so that's that's also interesting. Um, yeah, I might I might pick up a refill kit just to check out this amber rocks sugar and get some tea as well. And then if you don't want boba, uh, you they they do they have a tea company, um, teapeople.com, um, where they sell tea and some and some equipment but they have but they sell tea at tpeople.com and you can see more variety of teas that they have um and with the boba kit only coming with matcha or in this case hojicha because there's two of them now um, and then the refill kit you can get black tea along with the boba um, and uh, jasmine green tea if you wish that's the refill kit um the refill kit it, it's pretty nice. I like it. It gives you boba tea and a sweetener. That's awesome. If you don't need a straw, then you don't really need the boba kit. But yeah, so they're doing that. Um, yeah, the whole reason why this is on here is because I just discovered that they had a boba kit. Um, I'm guessing they had the refill kit for a while, but but I just seeing it now, and so I'm kind of interested. Uh, I might I might get a refill kit just for the amber rock sugar and maybe some more black tea because I'm running low on black tea as well. Um, but yeah, I might get the, I might pick up a refill kit. And then other news, this is random news. Other news, those Nintendo Land has just been announced when they're opening. If you don't know Nintendo Land, um, Universal Nintendo partnered with Universal Studios, and so they're creating a section sort of like Harry Potter, Hogwarts, if you know, and uh, sort of like that. They're, they created their own little park section. In, um, and then they just released a trailer and announced when in Japan, Universal Japan, they're opening. And they're opening February 4th of 20, huh, 2021. On February 4th they're opening and apparently you can pre-order their tickets now um, I wouldn't know I don't just because I'm not making a Japan trip anytime soon but yeah so Nintendo oh, they dropped the trailer and they're opening February 4th 2021 in Japan the one in Orlando is still in the works and so it's very exciting stuff man and uh, the park is supposed to be interactive as well well and like connecting i think connecting to your phone like interactive in the way it connects to your phone but it's supposed to be like interactive and there's a lot going on the trailer showed um mario kart well it's about mario kart all right um, it didn't really show much about the actual park itself but uh, yeah that's exciting stuff man um when I went to Japan, I wanted to go to Universal. Um, like Japan Universal does a lot of stuff and events, and like I love Monster Hunter, um, the game, video game, and like they do, they have like Monster Hunter stuff there too. And so, oh, well, like, yeah. Um, but then there's one opening up in Orlando, which will be, which is nice. Um, so yeah, Universal. Oh, it's making its way, you know. Uh, like, like if I could go to Universal, little Japan, um, 
as well as Nintendo Land. I would, like for me, like Harry Potter. Um, like Harry Potter is like yeah, okay, it's good. It's like it's not like whoa for me. And like fan base wise, I'm not 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 that deep into Harry Potter. Um, so like Hogwarts, going to Hogwarts at Universal is kind of like eh, it's okay. Hey, but Nintendo, I I I would go to Universal just to, just for the Nintendo park. Um, but then other than that, like. Disney all the way, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and my dream is to like visit all the parks, Disney parks. Um, all right, uh, I believe it's what London, Paris, Hong Kong, Tokyo. I believe those are all the parks outside of U.S. But yeah, but yeah. So that's random news. News. Um. Yeah, that's it for random news. Moving on to the next segment. Chew on this. So today's chew on this, we're talking about leavening agents. Um, leavening agents are things that create gas to make the product, your baked product, rise and kind of puff up. Um, there are kind of three category-ish -ish categories for leavening agents. Um, so you have like natural, mechanical. Um, this is is just basically air and and steam that you just kind of put into the mix. Um, so example is like meringue, which is whipped up egg whites. That's just air that you're incorporating into the egg whites as you whip it up, fluffy. So and then like steam, a perfect example of steam is a uh, padashu. Which is a dough, which is the dough that you make um, cream puffs and eclairs with, not the donut kind, um, <laughs> but like the cream puffs, uh, profiteroles, those that those you steam, steam um, uh, when you bake them um, at super high heat, they they puff up because of the steam that is trapped inside, and that's how you get the super hollow. That's how. That's why they're so so hollow is because it just puffs up uh, from the steam and it evaporates. And then, like your flaky, how the stuff gets flaky is because uh like puff pastries is how it's flaky is because of the butter, like pie crust as well because of the butter, it, it melts away leaving pockets and so those pockets kind of puff up, up and so you get these buttery flaky. So it gets flaky because as when the butter melts away, okay, you have these pockets, and, it's, and then and then as it heats up, it expands, and so you kind of get a flakiness. And so that's natural or mechanical, well, because it's mechanical because you're beating in air, right? And it's natural because it's not any of the other categories. <laughs> um, and so yeah. Yeah, and like chiffon cakes, stuff like that, very airy. Um, so next is uh, chemical leaveners, which is uh, sodium bicarbonate, otherwise known as baking soda. And um, baking powder are your chemical leavenings. Baking soda uh, basically is a base, has a very high-ish pH level. I don't remember exactly what the pH level is, but it has, but it has a pretty so it's very base base and like as you know when it uh, the famous big baking soda vinegar volcanoes you know uh, mixed with an acid it will react creating CO two uh, and so that's the gas that is used to expand right as it's baking. So, so baking soda is just the base and he said you will need some kind of acid lemon juice uh, buttermilk vinegar in um, in the case of if you're making red velvet you will use baking soda and vinegar or, uh, red velvet cake and, um, and so there's that and then baking powder is um, baking soda plus a powdered dry powdered acid so so it's already combined, it's already mixed, you don't need acid 
you don't need to add acid into to the mixture because it already has it incorporated in it and you just need liquid you just need moisture to kind of act to activate it and then most baking powders are double acting as in it will react a little bit when you make first mix it as the moisture hits it and then it will activate again when it's heated okay. um, so that's that's baking powder baking soda right um, really you can't really interchange them as much um, can't really switch them as much uh, mainly because you you do want to keep kind of a pH balance and so if you're not so if you're not adding acid it, to something then and the baking powder I mean baking soda is kind of useless right if you don't have acid already if you're not adding some kind of acid already into the mixture then the baking soda is not going to react to anything and it's not going to do anything and as well as if you have acid and you're adding baking powder well now you have your it's going to it's going to be off-putting in a little bit because as you as the baking powder it's not going to offset the acidity right because it already has its own reaction going on right? and so so you sort you can sort of tweak it a little bit but generally it's not recommended this as substitutes for each other um, uh, yeah and so like and so the final category is biological and that is the and that is yeast, which is a single-celled organism from the animal kingdom of a fungi. Well, it's a fungus. Okay, guys, it's a fungus. Um, the when you buy yeast, it is uh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. When you buy yeast, the scientific name for the yeast that you're buying for breads and stuff is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Saccharomyces cerevisiae. If I'm saying that right, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if this is the same kind of yeast. This is what you use for bread. So this is the dry yeast that you find in stores. Uh, but I'm not sure if it's the same type of yeast that is used for when you brew alcohol But it does the same thing Like they do they do the same they do they do the same thing which is they consume sugars sugars and starches and they and converts it to co2 alcohol and acid um, But I'm not sure if it's the same strain of yeast in bread is the same as in beer or wine you know what i'm saying that's where i'm not that's where i'm not sure of. but yes yeast is used in these processes why because they do produce alcohol um but yeah yeah so you have yeast this is biological because it is alive it's a fungus is and you can find it in or you can buy it in two different forms technically three um, fresh yeast which is this like like a block uh, block that they compress uh, and is it feels like clay they, and you basically just crumble it and mix it and then there's dry yeast there's two type of uh, dry yeast that is active dry and instant dry uh, so it's just as they say active you need to activate it um, active dry you need to activate it you need to stir it in with some warm water you don't want hot water because you don't want to kill the yeast but you want warm water to just kind of wake them up activate them and, and then instant you can just instantly use and you're good to go so you don't need to use warm water or anything. Um, and then and then you have natural yeast which you don't buy you you start so these are your starters or sourdoughs sometimes sometimes um, not all sourdoughs are starters so these are your sourdoughs your starters and that 
you have to maintain it. You have to keep them alive and continually have to feed it, take care of it, um, and use it. Um, so it's a bit, it's a bit of a hassle. There's a lot of, there's a lot of maintenance. I actually tried to start a starter, um, and failed. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't start. Um, it started, it started, it started something. It, it definitely wasn't good <laughs> what it started. Um, it wasn't good yeast. It was, it was other kinds of, of bad things. <laughs> but yeah, so starter is a bit more technical, whereas you just buy ye dry yeast and there's just either warm it up with, warm it up in water, activate it, or just throw it in. Um, so yeah. yeah, and so yeah, so what yeast does is, like I said, they eat sugars, sugars or starches. They break them down, and by consuming them, it expels CO two, alcohol, and acid. And so the sour part in sourdough is because of the high acidity that is produced. Um, and when you ferment, when you you let the yeast do its thing. Um, and, and the fermentation, depending on how you do it, will produce different results. Uh, um, for sure, I know if you cold ferment, so keeping 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 the yeast cold will produce a lot more acid. And, and so, generally, like sourdoughs, if you're making sourdough, so you will keep it in the fridge fridge you let it ferment in the fridge because it will produce that acidity give it that sourness in the sourdough um, and so like and so that at different temperatures the way and the how you ferment it um, will produce various different things things and so it'll have different outcomes um, and so because and so that's why it's fun that's why I enjoy bread baking and making because of the yeast Cause it is alive and so like it's not like something that you can control like it's, so it's like temperamental it's like it's a challenge because you have to always balance uh, you always have to keep things in balance if you want to consistently make the same product over and over again and you will have to make you will have to constantly make adjustments because uh, the yeast is a living thing and so it's not gonna always work the same thing right just as we have different moods when weather changes the yeast the, the yeast is also going to change and react to the weather as well and so, so bread is always fun to just kind of make and adjust and figuring that out like, so I, I really like it um so yeah that's leavening that's leavening agents, and and we're we're done um, here. So we'll just wrap things up. It is a short episode, actually. Um, actually, all the episodes are pretty short. <laughs> but yeah, so exciting stuff coming around, right? And Nintendo Land is finally opening soon. Um, only in Japan though, which is kind of sad. Not like I have the money to even go to the Orlando one, but yeah, Nintendo Land's coming. Um, I have Kickstarter coming in. I'm excited for that. I will unbox that on stream when that comes in. And so that's that would be great. That'll be awesome. Um, hopefully, I'll have a job soon. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, if you like, if you guys like boba, you should check out boba guys and make boba at home like why not they have they have high quality teas these the boba was like obviously the boba is just like any other boba but it's made in the u.s unlike other stores which they buy from taiwan um so uh, anyways you know you're getting good quality from the boba guys um, or, or better yet, buy locally if your local boba shops have kits as well. Um, buy locally, 
the support locally but if not then boba guys is a is a great option <laughs> yeah. but if you do have local stars support local <laughs> support your local stores um if they have their own kits um buy from them um but, but yeah you should check it out uh the boba guys nice uh t people is their tea shop the store so if you're looking for teas um um, that's a great place to go other yeah i will in the youtube i will post links to their website if you want to get your own moba from them um or tea from them i'll post that on the youtube in the description so yeah uh so final questions do you like boba you do So final questions in the comment and down below. You can also comment on Twitter if you wish. Um, I don't know why. Um, just, just go to YouTube, comment, comment on the video. Uh, comment down below. Do you like boba? And yeah, do you like boba? Do you guys bake? Do you bake? What do you like to bake? bake um, was this information any helpful to you or anything? Talk to me, people. Talk. I want. I want to hear your thoughts. Um, so yeah, Christmas is coming around the corner. It's December, and, um, so hope you guys are having a great uh, holiday season. Hopefully, we can lift our spirits up and be happy and excited as we finish off this crazy year. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys next week. Yeah, I will see you guys next week. We're back on regular schedule. Uh, and yeah, I'll let you know if anything changes happen. Be, sure, be on the lookout on Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. Um, you don't have to follow. Uh, I don't care if you follow or subscribe. Uh, but I do care if you comment because I want because I don't want to just be the one talking here. I want to hear your thoughts, your inputs. I want you guys to join in on the conversation. So please do comment. Um, you don't have to subscribe. Uh, if you don't have to like, I just want, I just want to interact and talk with you guys. Um, so leaving a comment is a lot better. I'd rather have comments and subscriptions and likes. I want comments, people. Comments. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> okay, with that, we end. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening. If you're on the podcast, uh, Apple Podcast. And yeah, I will see y'all next week. Bye.